Hey everyone, I'd like to introduce the new project. Got a 2014 Fiesta ST. Just picked it up yesterday afternoon from the Copart auction. We'll do a quick walk around here and it's as received condition. Um, got some right front damage. Doesn't look too bad. The, um, got a little bit of the structure there and this wheel is pushed back a bit so I might need some suspension or maybe um, maybe a subframe that just bolts in hopefully that won't be too bad um, otherwise the car doesn't look too bad doesn't look beat up or riced out like a lot of these it's pretty dirty now from sitting on the sitting in the yard for a while overall not too bad Interior is pretty clean, considering what I've dealt with before. Has some dirt on it, but the like, seats aren't tore up or anything. This one's pretty pretty well optioned. Has a sunroof, has the heated Recaros and navigation. I think the only option that's missing are the gray painted wheels. But it's got almost sixty eight thousand. Still pretty low miles for. Being in 14. Back seat's in nice shape. Considering the cars I usually pick up on Craigslist are trash, this one's pretty clean. Trunk has some garbage in it, but not too bad. Apparently somebody thought the uh, load shelf could actually hold something heavy. I have to get a new one of those. Collapsed. Um, like I said, it, it's not in too bad a shape, but I'll bet whoever owned it just kind of took it through the quickie car washes. Once, once you start looking close, you can see inside of everything's caked with shit. And like under here, under these weather strips, it's kind of green, mossy stuff. So it was probably washed, but not with much care. open this door the fenders up against it um, yeah it doesn't look too terrible got our little 1.6 liter turbo up here it hit far enough to the right that it didn't bust the cooling system so that's good hopefully I can let me get the hood prop somewhere Hopefully I can, I know the radiator support's broken over here, but hopefully I can get it out without having to pull the radiator and condenser. I fixed a Fiesta a few years ago and I think I was able to swap the radiator support without emptying those two things, but I'm not sure. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm gonna fire it up real quick. It does run and kind of drive. I can't turn it to the right because that wheel is pushed against the fender. And we've got the, the very common clicking blend door. I'll have to fix that. No real warning lights. It's your standard Fiesta ST. Nothing too exciting. It runs and clicks away like a direct injected engine should. I'll go through it like I do with all my cars. I'll go through it, change all the fluids and inspect everything, replace whatever needs it. So I guess first thing I'll do is give it a quick whore bath inside and out because I don't like working on dirty cars. 
and then we'll just start disassembling it throughout the day and get a list of everything that I need, start picking up parts. Uh, I did stop at a junkyard on the way home yesterday and picked up a silver fender. My goal is to not have to paint at least the hood and the fender. Um, I, I probably won't be able to find a silver ST bumper, but those are it's not too expensive to get one from the dealer. I just worry about paint match on a silver car. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully I can find a hood. I don't want to have to paint that. And yeah, start tearing it down, see what all I need. Alright, day one is complete, and I have the car tore down. It's not too bad. It's not really much worse than I anticipated it would be. The only thing I found is the this wheel was hit, so we've got... I've got to take this to get repaired. We've got a bit of a... Got a bit of a bend in it right here. And I popped the tire. Get that repaired. And this wheel is shoved back about an inch. I found the uh, control arm. You can see it's sitting sitting on the subframe. There's a kink in it right here. So I'll order that. I'll replace the control arm first. Hopefully that gets the wheel back where it's supposed to be. If not, then I guess next I'll have to put a subframe on it. Which isn't too bad from what I can see. It looks like a couple bolts on this side, a couple on the other side. And then just kind of drop it down after taking some of the suspension apart. That shouldn't be too bad if I have to do that. Um, I knew I would need to do some work on this rail when it, whatever it hit, came in and kind of hit the wheel and hit this a little bit and just rolled the rail down. It didn't get into the strut tower or anything. It just kind of pushed it a little bit here and pulled the rail down with it. So I should be able to, I'm hoping I can just hook onto it here and pull kind of up on it while I heat, heat it back here and maybe up here. And hopefully the whole thing will just kind of roll back where it's supposed to be. It didn't get into the rail. It didn't get into the lower rail, so that stuff's all okay. It didn't get into the cooling or the AC condenser. And luckily I was able to just um, put a jack under it and pull the radiator support out because I do need to replace that. It broke some of the ears off of the passenger side. Those are pretty cheap, so get one of those. So the driver's side was fine. I have to fix the driver's side headlight. One of the tabs broke off of it, but otherwise it's okay. The uh, fender from the junkyard over here. It matches pretty well. I sat it on yesterday. It's hard to find ST fenders in the junkyard. So they always ask you, is it one with or without a rocker molding? But the only difference, the base model ones have this textured finish down here and no hole right here. So I just need to drill a hole in it here and the uh, rocker molding will snap into it. That's not a big deal, and then I don't have to paint the fender. And yesterday, um, I gave it a quick whore bath. It's pretty clean, actually. Only a couple door dings in it. I'll detail it before I start driving it much. On the inside, I emptied it out and just vacuumed it. I didn't really wipe it down or anything yet. So I'll have to get something to clean this the gray part of the seats, those are a little dingy. And I'll have to put some air freshener in here to get the vape smell out of it. It's a little dark in here, but yeah, it's actually a pretty clean car. 
compared to what I'm used to working on, which are usually trashed uh, chain smoker cars. Overall, it's pretty much as I expected it to be. And we can walk over here, see the pile of parts. And radiator support. It, um, it broke that ear off of it and pulled, there's supposed to be a threaded, um, like a threaded bushing in here, pulled that out. These are cheap, so I'll get a new one of those. The uh, bumper reinforcement. Bent the ear over here a little bit, but I can straighten that and it's fine. The only thing that's of any real importance is this hole here. It's the, um, there's a white clip that the headlight sits in. So just need to make sure that that's located properly. Um, then the bumper, the grills are good. The driver's side bezel and fog lights good and all of these upper shields and seals are good it's really the only thing i need is an intercooler bracket for the passenger side uh, the fog light and the fog light bezel for the passenger side and this little splash shield for the passenger side a Fender to bumper bracket, obviously a hood, and a bumper cover. And I think that's about it for the repair parts. I'm gonna do some maintenance while I'm in there. The pads are pretty good, but somebody obviously took the cheap route and the pads on old rotors, there's about a two millimeter lip on both sides of the rotors. So I'll go ahead and put pads and rotors all the way around and do a brake fluid flush and oil change, air filter, cabin filter, the normal stuff I usually do when I'm working on a car that has suspect maintenance. So later today, I'll try to figure out how best to pull on this. So I don't really have any way to anchor the car or attach it to anything in the garage. I'll try to use the tractor, but it's not very heavy, so it tends to just drag the tractor or the car. Um, so I might have to wait until I get the radiator support in so that I can drive the car and anchor it to a tree and pull on it that way. So that's that's where we are now.